in, man. Come in. All right, Your Royal Highness. Gilt, it's pleased and delighted I am to see you again. Thank you, sir. It's a grand place you got here. Ah, that's well enough. Sit down, man. Over there. Drop the lid, man. It's only an old chest full of jewels. We took it from the Spanish ships when the Armada was wrecked on our coast. Is that so? Ship's gun, too. Oh, that's a fine piece. It is indeed. And the throne? By all the goats and Kerry, do you think I'd sit on a Spanish throne? This once belonged to Fergus MacLeader, ancient high king of all Ireland. Do you say so? I do. And over there, the gold cup of Cormac. And here's the sword of Brian Beru, who drove out the Danes. And over there, you see the harp. Don't tell me it's the harp that runs through Tara's Hall, the soul of music shed. Aye, it is that same. I declare to me soul, when I tell them this down in the pub, they won't believe a word of it. Aye, you can't do that, Darby. Once you're here, there's no going back. I've got to get back to Katie. Ah, uh, you needn't worry about Katie. She'll give you a grand wake, and then she'll forget all about you. Mind what you say about Katie. Calm yourself now. Calm yourself. What have I ever done to you? Nothing, Darby. Who tells all the stories about you? You do, Darby. Aye, and who makes the women watch where they're throwing their wash water when you and your lads are out walking invisible? You do, Darby. And who makes the men tip their hats respectful to every swirl of dust? You. You've done grand. So you put the commether on me. That's how you pay me back. You ungrateful little Franey. Your heart's as cold as a wet Christmas. They'd better watch what they're saying. I speak Gaelic too. No, you listen to me. No, you listen to me. Patrick Hogg was standing under the white thorn tree by the summer house when his lordship gave you the bad news today. And the moment I heard you were in trouble, I swore I'd take you out of it. And if you're the fine, decent man I think you are, you'll be showing me a little bit of gratitude. I am grateful. Then you can say goodbye to the tears and the troubles of the world outside. There's nothing but fun and diversion here. Now, what'll you do first, Darby? Well, I don't know. Would you care to play the harp? No, I'm no great hand with the harp. But give me me old fiddle. And I'll play you a tune worth going a mile of ground to hear. Grand! Now, if someone will show me the way out, I'll go home for it. None of your tricks, Darby. I said you were here to stay. Patrick Hogg! Yes, Your Highness? Fetch the Stradivarius. Right away, Your Highness. presented to me by the Emperor of the Italian Fairies in 1700. It's a Stradivarius. I'd rather have me own. Ah, you'll have to make do with this one. Go ahead, man, try it. All right, then, if it makes you happy. Now give us a good one. All right, then. My grandfather Podge told me there were three things the little people were mad after. Dancing, whiskey, and hunting. Big Gara, he wasn't far wrong. Huh? Then I'll give you the fox chase. Ah, the fox chase. First, you'll hear the gathering of the huntsmen and the baying of the hounds. Grand. Away we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> 